Hi guys, this is Jake from My Living World's Ants. This is 15 facts you need to know about harvester ants. Mesol Barbarus. 1. The harvester ant Mesol Barbarus is very common across Europe. They span across most of southern Europe and are also found in parts of North Africa. 2. Harvester ants collect seeds. Unlike most ants, which forage for live or dead insects, these ants collect seeds and store them in grainy areas. 3. Grass seeds are their favourite. Out of all of their choices of seeds, they seem to like grass seeds the most. This is probably down to their choice of habitat, as they like to live on the edge of fields. 4. These ants make ant bread. That's right, these ants actually chew up these seeds and turn it into ant bread which can then be fed to larvae and other workers. 5. Most species of harvester ants are monogene. This means that most species will only have one queen. There have been successful cases of people merging queens before the brood develops into workers, but this is not recommended as in the wild this would not happen. 6. The species Mesol barbarus has three variations. These three variations are from the same genus. The first is a normal black brownish Mesol Barbarus, where the queen and all workers are the same colour. The second is the Mesol Barbarus redheads. These are funny looking ants as they still remain black or brown, but the heads of the workers are red. The third is Mesol Barbarus bicoloured. This species has a range of workers, completely black, workers which are brown, and workers which have parts of their bodies appearing red or even the whole body's red. 7. They have three different castes. These ants have three different sized workers. They have the miners, who are small and fast, usually tending to the brood and the queen, as well as scouting out and finding food. Then there are the media workers, slightly larger, with bigger jaws. They will have a similar job, but they will break down seeds with the majors, and they can carry a slightly heavier loads. Then, the final is the majors, sometimes even super majors. These ants are much larger, some even as big as the queen. They have giant heads and act as a heavy support for the colony. These ants also are able to break the seeds with their strong jaws, as well as being fierce guards. 8. These ants have three methods of recruitment. The first is tandem running, using chemical trails one ant will lead a follower to the target location. The second is group recruitment. This is where one leader ant will use motor display. This is where the ant will lay down a temporary recruitment trail. This team of ants can consist anywhere between 5 to 50 workers when requiring a large item to be brought back to the nest. The third is mass recruitment. This is where permanent pheromone trails are laid down so that it creates a sort of highway for these ants to travel along when going from one destination to another. 9. It can take up to 8 weeks from egg to worker. Like most species, the process of egg to worker is slow. There are some species however, like Manica rubida and Solenopsis germinata, as well as many others which grow fast, but Mesol barbarus are more slow growing species. The ant growth rate can be increased by raising the temperature slightly and giving other sources of protein such as cooked chicken or dead insects. But considering this species thrives so well in the wild without the need for hunting insects, it isn't necessary. 10. The average queen will live 10 to 15 years. From the moment these queens are born to when they fly out and start their new life, they live a very long life. This is an amazing lifespan for such a small creature, considering they only mate once in their life and store the sperm to produce tens to thousands of workers. 11. These ants have beards. Not all species, but a lot of these harvester ants have beards. This is to collect sand grains and small seeds. They have small hairs under their jaws which collect them. The species most associated with this is Pogono Myomex. There is a great video on this by Ants Canada if you guys want to learn more about this particular species. 12. Ant Lunch. These ants have one specific predator called a Zodorian. This is an ant-eating spider. 
This is one of the only known species of spiders, which specifically preys on just harvester ants. 13. Seed robbing. This isn't uncommon in the ant world, as many species steal from each other. For example, formica species, which steal brood from other colonies and raise them as slaves. With harvester ants, sometimes when two colony trails cross, they will cease everything, and they will steal seeds right from the neighbouring workers. 14. Weed control. Believe it or not, these ants actually make great pest control. Although these ants do prey upon seeds from cereal crops, it has been studied that these ants actually keep the levels of weeds down, and therefore allowing a higher crop yield. 15. These ants are very easy species to care for, and provided they are not disturbed and given the appropriate care needed, they can be a fantastic species to raise for beginners. I can't wait for my colony to grow, as this colony receives their first media worker. This little empire is on the rise too. I will give an update on this colony in a few weeks. Now, onto my other ant colonies. My Lassius Niger colony now has about 40 to 60 queens, which have been moved back into the soil setup. And now all the male drones have hatched. This colony will be ready to release soon. Across the UK, many early flights have already happened. I'm just awaiting the day when they can be set free into the wild. My Temnothorax colony is still growing, with its giant pile of brood, and even more eggs on the way. My Campanotus barbaricus queen is doing well, with her second larvae having just spun its cocoon. These first workers will emerge soon. My Lassius flavus colony is a bit slow, and I fear that the queen may have died. I'll have to take a closer look. My Momica rubra queen now has her first workers emerging. If you go back to my previous videos, you will see when she had just larvae. I also caught two Momica rubra queens which have both produced eggs since placing them in test tubes. I'm considering merging these queens. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. I'd also love to hear what you guys thought about this video, and if you want me to do more ant fact videos. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you in my next video.